Welcome to Talk Around Riyadh, the Wheel of Time showcast. I am your host, Joe Perry, here with my co-hosts, Jen Isgro and Tom Kokoza. How are you doing tonight, Jen? I'm actually doing great. Um, leaving for vacation in a couple of days. Where are you going? Uh, going to sunny California Ooh. for a family wedding. So uh, be on the West Coast. Slightly still stressing out about packing and getting everything ready to go. But uh, I think we'll have a great time. So I'm excited. Listen, think about it this way. The worst thing that happens is you forget something and you have to go to the store and buy it. I know. Well, yeah, there's a couple of things I can't go to the store and buy. But other That's than true. that, it's fine. I'm only in California. I can probably get most. most. I hear they're they're lacking in supplies out in California. So you might be, you might be in trouble. I don't know if that's a joke or not. <laughs> I don't get, if it is, I don't get it. Tom, it is a joke. I was being okay. sarcastic. Sorry. Okay, good. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? I'm doing well, Joe. Um, I'm drinking a uh, beer from my brother's brewery, Ross Brewery. It's the first one of these I've had. I didn't. I just opened up and took a drink. Didn't really look at the label or anything like that. And I see that it's his launch party because the thing just opened up and it says Do Any IPA, and I don't know what that meant. I was like Do Naipa. I don't know. I thought it was some kind of Spanish beer or whatever. But what it means it's it's a double. double. It's a mm. double hopped in uh, New England uh, IPA, I guess. Um, oh, my goodness gracious. It tastes like I'm just eating pine cones. Uh, <laughs> see, Who's I in charge of... I'm sorry, finish. Go ahead. I no, I was just going to ask him a question right? about the... Be- I was, no, I was going to ask a question. I was going to make a comment about, like, I like IPAs and I like some double IPAs. But, yeah, when they taste too much like that, it's... it's No, I can't do it. Maybe have one yeah, and that's I'm- it. I'm not a huge IPA fan, so it probably doesn't taste like that to somebody who enjoys them. Oh. But to me, it's like a very, it's a very hoppy beer. Uh, so, who makes up the names of the beers for them? Because I, I love would all the names. Imagine my brother does. I don't. There's one that's called "It's Not Not a Bop." <laughs> it's, just, it's just like ridiculous, but great. Like I want to drink a beer with an interesting name. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna have to go there one day and. Drink on the water and have a nice time. Sounds, yes, I agree. <laughs> Excellent. When you come back from Cali. Okay, well. Oh, what's that? Sorry, I was eating some nerds. Welcome back to another edition of Where's What Origins, where we try to find out where What Origins is. So let's begin. Jen, do you know where What Origins is? Okay, so I had a plan about 10 minutes ago of what I was going to (laughs) do. So I have this die that's sitting here, and I was going to roll the die and try to figure out what month and day it was coming out. Okay. But it's a it's a six sided die, so we can still not do leaving this. a lot of time. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Let's just see what so, happens. So wait, 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 wait. Slow down here. Okay. okay. So a one would be uh, a, a single digits. Two would be actually no. You'd have to say one is in what? the teens, two is in the twenties, three would no, be thirty. No, one was gonna the first time I roll was gonna be the month. That's what I'm saying. It's like oh, oh okay. So you, so you have to roll unless it. like all right, all right, all right. One is July. I have a, Let's just do it like that. I have a, one I, will be July. I'll do it for the second half of the year. I can do the days because I have the thirty sided die in front of me right here. So go All ahead. Right, you so do the months. One is July and six is December. This is the month. It's gonna fall right off this tray and ruin everything. Here we go. Great. Five. So that's November. No. Yes, November. Okay. No. Okay. okay. It's gonna, gonna come out right when this. This is perfect. This is. I'm exact. gonna roll the thirty sided die oh. and tell you when the. Okay. Here we go. Indeed. 12. Ah, it's my brother's, Ooh, my dad's my birthday. My anniversary. Yeah. November 12th. What, what day of the week is that? I don't know. All right. Who, has, who can do it? We'll, we'll have to consult. I'll do it. I'll do it. The, uh, I got it. I got the it. The paper chart thing that tells you. I got it. No, it's on my phone. I have it's one a Sunday. on my phone. It's a Sunday. So what if that means the show is going to come out on November 10th and then All Out Origins will drop two days later? I don't believe any November of this. November 12th. Right. Somebody write this down. Tom, what are your thoughts on this? November 10th well, release well, date. Well, I do I do like um 
I do like saying, let fortune make the decisions for us. It's not the most scientific method. Uh, but you know what? I'm all for it. Let's say November 12th. It's happening. You heard it here. November 12th. All right. Let's get, in, August. <laughs> let's get into our news. We are doing a full news episode, everybody. There's so much news. Uh, that's how much news there is. And we got more <laughs> news today. So I'm going to cram that news into this other news. And it's going to be like a turducken of news that you're going to get to ram it. <laughs> it's cramming it in there. News Shove stuffed right into in. more news. Let's say, uh, uh, let's see, a uh, teaser stuffed into castings, stuffed into uh, audition scripts, stuffed into directors. Ooh. The directors are getting stuffed by a lot of things. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's three of them. They can handle. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right. So the most surprising, I think, piece of news that we got was back on the 14th of May, which was all the way back to Sunday, which seems such a long time ago. Uh, we had talked about this in our previous episode. I think that that Mira Sayal was um, was winning a BAFTA uh, Fellowship Award. So somebody, uh, I guess, was watching it, and they happened to catch that in, the, I guess, a package, a video package they had put together for Mira. There was a very short, like, two-second clip of Mira as Varen from The Wheel of Time. It was posted on Twitter by at Ro Rosamund Pikelet. Thank you, at Rosamund Pikelet. It has since been... Um, scrutinized by the likes of uh, the innkeeper Matt Hatch from the Dusty Wheel and company, uh, Lauren from Unraveling the Pattern and many mm -hmm. other people. Um, so we're just going to dive right into this, I guess. Um, when you saw this post, I think I was at, I was at my aunt's house for Mother's Day. So I didn't even know this came out like when it did until like maybe a couple hours afterwards. So I, I want to get your guys, what were your, what were your first reactions when you saw this? My first reaction, and I'm not kidding, is we have to get Natasha O'Keefe nominated for an award. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like this is the answer as to why they revealed her casting, because in a couple of days they were going to show her the yeah. baptism. Oh, yeah. So, well, we wouldn't. Do you think you would have known who she was from that? From this oh, you're saying if they didn't they were going it? to talk about it at the baptism when she was getting the fellowship. So... No, I think they, I think Jen's asking, like, if they didn't release that she's Varen, didn't say anything that she's Varen, would people have realized that she's Varen? She's, in, in, a, she's in a brown ish I cloak. Know. It's dark. It's dark enough. Well, they lightened it up, actually. Well, no, it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. It's Varen. Oh, yeah. fine. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, I thought it was awesome. I was, it was, it was Mother's Day uh, for those of us uh, listening who are not in the U.S. And, that last Sunday was Mother's Day in the U.S. Day. We spent time with our mom. So my mom was watching my nephew play a double header in baseball. So that's what I was doing. Uh, so I was on my way back from that. They that's had, when I saw it. They had like Little League Baseball on Mother's Day. They had a double header. That's, uh, that's well, he's in wrong. high school, so it's like a traveling team. But it's, you know. Uh. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was exactly what I, 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 um, I don't know, what I didn't know I was hoping for. Just a crystal clear image of, of, of Miraz Varen. Uh, I don't know, giving some, giving off emotion. It was, it was, it was cool. Let me, yeah, that's the first time we see her as she lowers her hood. Pop. Stands probably I'm gonna say gazing at something. I wanna I wanna something. I'm sorry too. I wanted to just give a quick description of the video. I mean, I'll put the link in the show notes and if if you haven't seen it yet, um I don't know what you're doing. Uh stop the podcast right now, watch this because it only takes two seconds. Or watch it like ten times. It's only twenty seconds still. Um, so it's very quick. Like I said, it's two seconds. It's Mira Sayal. Um, she's she's uh wearing her her cloak. And she pulls off the cloak, uh, revealing her, you know, grayish, white, and brown hair. Um, and she's looking up at something kind of, I don't know, lovingly, I might, you might yes. want to say. And Adorable, the cameras kind yeah. of start panning around her as it's happening. And um, so I think the first thing, right, everyone was like, well, where is this? Right? People were like, oh, is, this is Kyrie Oh, this is wherever. 
It's Tarvalon. It's very clear it's Tarvalon. <laughs> there was a lot of like discussion about it. And pe- I know they were talking about the lamps um, compared to, the, to season one. Um, they were talking about the scroll work in, in part of the shot on the lower right-hand corner, which looks similar to it. But what sold it for me, and, and they were talking about the awnings too, what sold it for me is there's like an archway as they pan around. And it's literally the exact same archways that you see in Tarvalon in season one. Exactly the same. And to me, that was like the definitive thing that this is Tarvalon. Do you guys, do you guys agree that this is Tarvalon? Um, unless they're reusing the set again for a third thing, which, which <laughs> this that's just that's that's terrible. I mean, if they're Ogier built, then maybe an o, maybe Ogier is just like use the same shit, the same template for every city they work in. No, these are master craftsmen. They would not do <laughs> such a thing. They really just um, like the no. design. It's probably Tarvalon, yeah. So that that's kind of hinting that we're not hinting, but that she's going to be in the tower with the girls and in that kind that storyline at least at one part of this of the season, not me possibly with Moraine, which was speculated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked about that last week, right? I just kept saying, well, where's what's more, what's Varen going to do in this season? And you both mm-hmm. agreed that she would be in the tower. So, I mean, there's confirmation that she's in Tarvalon. Whether she stays there is another story. Um, and she is not the person with the long gray hair that we see the back shot of in one of those teasers. No, I never thought that was Baron, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's definitely confirmed. Um, Tom, do you agree this is Tarvalon? I do. And I have to say, other than like, I don't know, people wanting her to be other places, like, where else would Varen stop, take her hood off, and look up at something lovingly than <laughs> the topless towers of Kyrian? Than the topless towers of Kyrian, which she has such affinity for. No, it's uh, clear, loyal. Like, to me, <laughs> yes, loyal. to me, it was clearly the White Tower just from like, uh, just from her performance, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I think that that I, I thought that that's what it was. Uh, so, I, I want to say one other thing too, right? There was <laughs> uh, Matt Hatchett's Dusty Wheel was really, uh, again, scrutinizing this photo. And th- uh, he caught um, there's something hanging around her neck on like a rope or a chain. Uh, he was able to zoom into pictures uh, on it. And it looks like, to me, it looks like, like a magnifying glass, mm-hmm. which would make sense that she'd have something like that around her neck. You know, she's obviously mm-hmm. a brown, she reads, she investigates things. So she would, you know, something to help her read. Or though, although this made me, this made me think of something today while I was in the shower. Right? Picture it. Shouldn't, they, shouldn't all Aes Sedai have like 20, 20 vision? Because if they don't, they just, the yellows would just heal, the, heal their eyes so they can see better. Yeah, but what if the writing is very small? That's not like. Okay. You have twenty twenty vision. Can you read like who, tiny, small handwriting? Who, write, who writes tiny and small? Whether I don't know. People, people who are like scribbling down notes from one thousand years ago or something. Yeah. I don't, I'm just. I I also I, I don't think that the yellows have, uh, the ability to heal like. How to, let's put it like, like physical imperfections, which I I, I would think that's what you would call nearsightedness or farsightedness. It's they just they a, heal injuries and they heal sickness, but they don't heal like they don't heal the muscles in your eye are weaker than they should be. It's not the muscles though; it's the lens. Right, the lens is becomes, long uh, end because the muscles in your eye are not as strong to like hold it. Maybe naive. Right? That's not that, true because they give you LASIK surgery yellows. and you can see fine after that. It's true. Yes, but that's correcting. Like, that's I, I. It's my understanding. I could be wrong about this. It's fine. But my understanding is that's correcting the symptom of the problem, not the the origination of the problem. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say maybe right. So if it's like your whatever your lens or whatever is deteriorating or whatever it is that causes it, um, they could fix that. But maybe maybe like old age. That's like like something that's more the effect of an old age. Um, right. They can't like fix. I, 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 like there. Like in the age of legends, yeah, they could do that kind of stuff. But I, I think nowadays they like heal illness and they heal injury. They don't heal, like I said, like 
your body doesn't work the way that other people's bodies do. Yeah, and uh, uh, Rouse pointing out a good uh, in chat and Discord that when they when they hold the one power, their enhance their senses become enhanced. It's true. So they could see farther and clearer, and they smell and hear better. Um, so why wouldn't she just do that? Whatever. It's cool looking. Um, he took it a step further and was trying to unblur and magnify like some of the scroll work on the on the the metal part, and it 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 might look like there's a fox there, or it's just because we want to magnify wanna see... the magnifying glass. Yeah, yeah. To me, it looked like a raccoon, maybe, but. I, I don't know. It just it was it was dots and spaces. It reminded me of remember in the teaser where they showed that weird fast clip. It was the dagger teaser, and there's yeah. that weird quick clip of like a glint and some like kind of scroll work. And we were all trying. We were like, oh, it's the handle of the dagger. It's the helmet. It's blah blah. blah. And it was it was part of the logo. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I feel like we're doing here. We're like coming up with all these things, and it's like no, it's just like some lines, <laughs> right? Or or like I don't know a leaf or whatever. Do you did you see um those those images? Do you think uh, there's a fox on that on that magnifying glass? I didn't even know what he was. I didn't look at it close enough to even see what he was talking about. I thought like he was saying that the point was like an ear. I couldn't figure out like what I was even looking at. So. Yeah, yeah. I was just, like, there. Yeah, I, I was looking. I was looking at it, and I couldn't follow what he was seeing. Yeah. Uh, with that one, um. But um, I was looking. I also watched uh, Lauren from Unraveling the Pattern, his breakdown of it. Um, and he found that a lot of um, uh, like he not only was the archway the same, but he saw that a lot of stuff in the background. A lot of the things in the background were very similar to what you saw in Tarvalon in season one. Mm -hmm. Barbara. Um, yeah. And he also pointed out there's like <laughs> five to seven people, uh, also in the scene. Yeah, like oh. moving around. Yeah, yeah, there's a few people walking by. Oh, I thought you were saying that they were the same people from the first season. Not no, he thinks okay, one of them. I was like, oh my it, god, it, there's a possibility, and I can see what he's saying. It's only a possibility, but that one of the people in the background is naive, because only you know only one person in the story can have a braid in the entire world. And the, I think it was, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll eat my hat if that's naive. No, there's a lot of people walking around, and it's it's Tarvalon uh, after dark. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's, that's a plug <laughs> there for the podcast. Their, uh, what's the name of their the, 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 the bar they work in? The, the Filthy Tinker? What is it? <laughs> the Thirsty Tinker? The Thirsty that, Tinker? I think so. Yeah, that's where she's headed. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so do you think this is the first, this is our first scene with Varen in the show? Where is she coming I mean, it's, from? It's dramatic. Like the like, why would you have like a dramatic reveal of a person if they were like already in the show? Well, they there, did right? it with they did it with Moraine, right? Rosemary I mean, Hyde. but she's dramatically revealing herself to other people. That's true. On the show, maybe she's so dramatically revealing herself to the tower. <laughs> I'm home. Yeah, I don't know where she's been, but I feel like she's coming back to the tower, like after a long stay away. I don't know what she's been doing. Yeah, right. Because she wouldn't have, she wouldn't do that if she would just like ran to the store for something. <laughs> just down the block to the deli. If she went to get a pack of cigarettes. She wouldn't come back like <laughs> uh, White Tower. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> pack of cigarettes. What cigarettes does Varen smoke? That'd be great. How awesome would if Varen just pulls out a pack. So like like some Marlboro Reds and start smoking on the Marlboro show. Browns. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay, I love good. it. I love it. <laughs> um Yeah, where is she coming from? Like are we gonna find out that she hasn't been in the at the tower in a while? Um uh, oh what's Varen Sadai doing back here? She's been gone for I don't know, days, weeks, months. I mean, it makes sense because like she wasn't like we didn't see her in the first season so maybe they're just like gonna break say that people weren't there and that's why they well, we only saw around. like five Aes Sedai in the first season anyway so I know but like why <laughs> is that I don't know um so what do you think of the costuming I, I, I didn't even ask you guys about that like that's the first thing I should have asked about I like it 
I mean, you can't, it's like a cloak with, she's got like a shirt on underneath, right? Like a. Yeah, she's got like a brown dress. Like a white, yeah. The brown, uh, with a white shirt on underneath it and then a darker brown cloak. Yeah, I like it. It's definitely a brown. Yeah. Does she look uh, like you envisioned Min, oh, sorry, Varen, when you read the books? She's not what I envisioned Min looking like. <laughs> definitely not Min. Um, I mean, slightly, yeah, I guess. I pictured Varen looking more like a nun from Sister Act. Like, yeah, the, like, uh, like the wimple thing around the face. Like, I don't know why. She has very nice um, hair, Mira Sayal. I kind of didn't picture Varen. I pictured Varen's hair a little bit more, not messy, so to speak, but more like unkempt. Not not clearly cared for. Yeah, not yeah, clearly, not like shiny and, and with a nice little wave go into it. I'm curious to see how she plays her. If she's like, you know, like dazed a little bit or putting that on or. Well, yeah, I, I'm curious. She looks very like, like in this moment, though, she's by herself. So she doesn't have to like. I, I'm i hoping she's watched on. a lot of Murder, She Wrote and just pretend she's Jessica Fletcher. Because that's kind of how I picture Varen. <laughs> so I'm thinking two things. Could she, A, if she's coming back to the tower in the beginning of the season. Could she, A, she be the one who's escorting somehow she was at Faldara as well? Oh, escorting Egwene and Nynaeve? They're like oh, right behind Tom. her. Tom's frozen. Um, oh, bye, Tom. I, <laughs> it's a great picture. Um, I I just think the season's going to start with them already that ha like there for a time. Like we said, like Elaine coming in at the beginning, maybe, and yeah. Egwene and Nani being there for like a month or two or something. Because we are, he said, we're getting like a two month time jump, right? Uh, yeah. And this is like, we were talking about this last week. Like, I, if they start to, if they just jump two months ahead without, with like, the way that season, first season ended, you can't just jump two months ahead and just like talk, talk off. Like, oh, this happened and this happened while we were gone. You can't I mean, do it. I think you can. I think you, the, the only storyline that I think will, would suffer from it is the is Perrin and Loyal. Matt could be trapped for like a month. Like, wait, and Nynaeve could have been tra training for or traveling for a month and like have been there a week or something. Like, they, mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, you know. Rand had t needs time to travel. Moraine needs time to maybe go travel somewhere. Like all of those people can need a little time to get to their next part of the story, except Perrin, who needs to go after the horn like immediately. Yeah. So I don't know how they're going to do that. Unless everyone, it's hard when like people are running on different timelines to try to like get that straight in your head. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, I'm going to guess that she's coming back to the tower. She hasn't been at the tower in a while. She's going, uh, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Did she going to figure out that Rand's the dragon? How is that going to happen if she does even meet him? She is going to fight, find out that Rand's the dragon from the dark friend social, isn't she? <laughs> no, cause the dark one doesn't. Oh uh, yeah. He does know that Rand's the dragon. At this point though. he does. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've that. still I never I don't remember if we ever confirmed and this is just me not remembering things like was was Varen basically confirmed to be at the Dark Friend Social? I thought we get was a nice there. I thought it was Alviar and who was there, right? Didn't we see white or did we see brown? But do we know everybody that like just because Boars didn't describe them? Does that mean that he described oh, like Alv everybody? I think every single person, really? Well, I think he didn't. St he wouldn't have described people that we probably weren't going to meet. Oh, I thought he was just like, oh, I see uh, this person and this person and this person. Okay, that's it. Like, I didn't, really, I didn't think he got into chats, like, okay, there's 30 people here and I've described each one. Chat's like, saying there were two Aes Sedai there. I'm okay, pretty yeah. sure one was Alviarin, right? I'm, I'm almost I don't know. Positive. I really don't remember. How, does he say anything other than like, I see, he sees a ring? He might have said he saw brown. This is the other yeah, but thing. They don't now. dress in the colors in the book, so that wouldn't matter. No, under the cloak though, like right, because they're all wearing black cloaks, I think. Or, or yeah. what, is it black cloaks? No, or I'm is saying it they don't. They're like I, um, 
don't wear their colors. There's like some sort of foggy mist covering their clothes. I don't, I don't even remember. Uh, no, they're, 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 but it doesn't they're matter black. what color that they Yeah, they're all wearing. wearing black. Well, here's another thing too. Like if they do show the dark friend, so well, they do show the dark friend social. If an Isa dies there, they're going to have to hide the ring because then we're going to know what Aja the person is if they show the ring. Right. Um, unless the ring is black when they're black. black. Yeah. Black. Oh, the black. ring turns black like a mood ring. Yeah, yeah. They can. They use the. They use but the then they have power to, to change. Yeah, it. they have to have know. like. But remember, we saw that. some people's like sleeves coming out of the cloak. We did. We saw someone so we, wearing if white. If we saw gloves. brown and white, then we'll know. Yeah. That they're, unless they wear black dresses too when they go there. I would also think the Aes Sedai might take their ring off too when they go there. Um, but that Aes Sedai in the book. We is, have to know that no. there's Aes Sedai there. Yeah, of course. So, so they the, can't just take this, their ring off because we need to know that as as viewers. That's correct. Right. But like, here's the thing. Like, I I, I think when we talked about the Dark Friend Social, like a year plus ago. I mentioned this, but whatever. Um, in the movie adaptation of The Watchmen, mm-hmm. right? Um, yes. The opening scene of the of the comic and the opening scene of the movie is like the murder of the, of the comedian, mm-hmm. right? And you're not supposed to know who did it. It's supposed to be this huge mystery. And the person is just in silhouette and you never see who it is. Except the person that murders the comedian has such a clear and distinct silhouette that it's just crystal clear from the first scene like the next time you see him, like oh yeah that's the guy who killed him because that's the only guy who looks like that but movie. do you think that that you knowing who it is helps you figure that out maybe a little bit no i don't because i saw it with people who didn't okay. know uh-huh. and didn't, they saw the same thing just, the out, guy or? who played him i can't remember the actor's name right yeah, now really but he just had a very long something. neck with like yeah. a prominent adam's apple and so, like, it was, it was just—it oh. was in the shadow, popping out. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, <laughs> oh, that's the same dude. Like a um, no, it wasn't. <laughs> so, I would just say, like, you would be—you would want to be careful that you're not going to put somebody with any kind of distinct. Like, it's going to be a lot harder to see someone on screen and not know that that's the same person. No, right? I don't think we're going to ha- see any faces. No, no, it's true. You're hands. only going to see hands and hands and cloaks. And then maybe like. I feel like if well, you'll see probably a Shamael. Mm-hmm. Like if you see maybe would you see boars? Like, will there be one person who we know is bad? Yes, I think you're going to see one person that you know is bad and you're going to see enough hints to know that somebody else is bad. Like, like, you don't know who it is. You just know that there's a Shinarin. Right, right. There. There's a Shinarin, and then that's Shinarin just like. What Shinarin right. could it be? There's a white cloak. Right. There's a tinker, maybe. Like, who knows? Whatever. Mm. Yeah. yeah, That's never revealed, right? Sean Chin. A tinker. Is there a tinker there? I don't know. I just made that. There's a tinker there. There is? Yeah. I don't think Aram. we ever find out who that tinker is, though. <laughs> no, I don't think you do. It was Aram the whole time. Come on. He was a spy. So I think we're all pleased <laughs> at this two-second clip, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. I do like the uh, I do like her costume very much, though. So mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing her as Varen whenever the sh- season two comes out. November 10th. No, that was watched. That's what origins. What do you mean? No, no, November 12th is what origins. Oh, they're gonna release it. <laughs> yes, November 12th is a Sunday, so the show has to come out on Friday. So what Thursday origins actually come out, like, two days later. Friday at midnight. Okay, November 9th, whatever. No, it came 10th. out it came out Thursday at like seven o'clock. It was midnight. Okay, but it was the midnight release Greenwich date, meantime. The release date will be November 10th. Oh, They'll say it, the release date is November 10th, and then UTC. we can watch it on November 9th. Yes. Whatever. Okay. All right. Uh we got some more news to talk about, so let's move on. Uh Priyanka Bose was kind of busy um <laughs> this past week. She had posted a story on Instagram. She was in, I guess, I don't know, like a makeup room or, or I don't know what room um, she was in, but clearly on set somewhere or behind, you know, backstage, so to speak. I don't know what they would call it for TV shows. Um, and she posted a shot on her Instagram, a picture and in, the, in the background on the wall was just like a slew, like like 20 headshots of actors on the slew. show. Good word. In, in the back. Yeah. <laughs> 
a veritable cornucopia uh, a, of ga- a gaggle of headshots right that's, a, that's a, <laughs> what's yeah what's the plural word a, a murder of headshots <laughs> a murder <laughs> yeah <laughs> So <laughs> a pride of edge. She, you know, she eventually took it down, but not before a ton of people caught screenshots of it. Um, some people not already before three seconds passed and yeah. a thousand people screenshot <laughs> yeah. it. Some people were unblurring uh, the pictures as well, although that didn't really help much because we don't know who the actors are. These are like it's not like it was like uh, I don't know. Chris Pine in the way you could see who it was. <laughs> Rachel, who's Rachel McAdams? Was yeah, she supposed to be it wasn't show? like somebody famous where it was easy to say, "Oh, that's who that is." <laughs> These are all people like fairly unknown actors. So unless you have time to go, I don't know, some sort of database of actor headshots and sit there and scroll through them, I imagine it's like looking at mug shots, um, mm-hmm. only harder because they're not all together in one place for you. Um, but anyway, shortly after that Watt series posted an article um, identifying some new cast. And they're clear that they're all people whose headshots were were in that background there. So I'll just go through those real quick. So we have four new people identified. Uh, Nyla, Alia, Joel, Nyokabi, Gathega, and DM Camille. Like I said, nobody knows who... <laughs> any of these people are so it's this is what we're getting at it's not like you can just look at the picture and easily find it so um yeah so let's see nyla has been in shows uh oh she was in halo i don't remember who she was in halo she was also in black narcissist discovery of witches uh joelle is a british singer songwriter filmmaker and actor known for the role in the school for good and evil and she was in dune i don't remember who she was in dune though um not sure but uh in halo she was agatha turn i don't remember she does actually look for oh i think i know who she is i think she's one of like the she's the lead i think she might be like one of the leaders or something like that like us i can't remember uh, she might be Joel like a lead si- a, scientist a servant of uh the baron the baron or oh okay um uh, Nyokabi Gathega, she's an award-winning Kenyan actress, most well-known for her starring role in the film Kadi Kadi. And then Diem Camille is a writer and actress born in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, and moved to Denmark when she was five. She was in the Danish television series Warrior. The most recent mm-hmm. role was in Klassen. So... We don't know who these people are. What I can tell you is that, um, hold on one second. Uh, Nyla, Joel, and Nia Kobe are both are in both season th- two and three. And DM Camille is confirmed for season three, unknown if she's in season two as well. Do you have any thoughts as to who these people could be playing? Do they fit any I... head canons of, of characters in the books for you? What about Nila Alia as Elnor Snur? No, we already have an Elnor Snur. We do? We have somebody cast as Elnor Snur? How do you think we had the whole Elnor Snur oh, thing I came? I just found out about Elnor. I forget everything, guys. I don't know. I never know if we just know the character name or the person. I don't remember. Okay, forget it. Let me think then. Tom, um, while, while Jen's thinking, any thoughts on who any of these people could be? N- Honestly, no. Uh, um, <laughs> they're all Sean Chen. That's what I'm, I'm going to say they're all Sean Chen. Yeah, I, I guess, but I don't think the Sean Chen are going to be in season three that much. That's true. I Aiel probably all Aiel. Yeah, they're probably going to be Aiel. Um, or I Sedai. Or I Sedai. Aiel or I Sedai. There you go. We've narrowed it down. Okay, yeah, great. That's helpful. Or Tinkers, maybe Tinkers. Well, it's Asmodian. Oh, they could be, yeah, they could be Forsaken. They could yeah. be Forsaken. Although, again, I think in this, this season, you're probably only going to get, in season two, you're probably only going to get two Forsaken. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, we're probably going to, I feel like we're going to get a third, right? Because we have Ishii, we're probably, we're getting land for you, and I think we're going to get another one in season season two. Mogedian. Mogedian. 
Masana. Think she's gonna a season two Masanian. Masanian. <laughs> yeah, common, they're going to combine Mulgarian and Masana together. Mosadian. No, I don't know. I don't like it. Semi Elm Dread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any good guesses. Um. We're starting to branch off into the area where there's so many characters, it's almost impossible to figure out. Um, if there were going to be characters specifically that I recall from books two and three, uh, we know they're meeting Aiel. I mean, this could be other maidens that we meet. Um, there are a couple of other maidens with Avienda, right? When they, in, in the Dragon Reborn, when they, right? There's the injured one who Nynaeve heals. And I feel like there's another, is Sulin with them? I don't even remember. I feel like one of Well, no, besides them. Mm. I'm trying to remember if there's anyone else with them. Um, I think I th there might be. I'm not sure, though. I think we could... Some of these... One of these people could be a Damane. Maybe one in the pens with... Uh, with um, Egwene. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think Soldam, that's a possibility. Blood. I Dark think the, the, one of them could be an Ogier. Oh, somebody said Aerith. I saw somebody point that one out. Yeah, maybe get an early Aerith appearance. Yeah. If they maybe go to a steading, girl. I mean it's possible, right? You think they get you think they're gonna go to a steading this season, right, Tom? I thought I do think that. So this could be it could be one of the Ogier. Maybe um maybe uh what's her name? Uh Nyla is is um Loyal's mother. I like it. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Anything. Possibilities are endless, yeah, people. They really are. We need to be narrowed down a little bit more here. Yeah. Well, we there's oh, really nothing to yeah. we've got nothing. I would say that your best bet for a character that's gonna appear, you know, be new in season two, that's also gonna be in season three, is an IU. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. Because I agree. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get much Sean Chen in season three. Or an Ice to die. Could be a nice to die. Yeah, there's a lot of those. So <laughs> I don't know the age of all of these women, but like Joelle is young. She looks very young. So I don't think she's going to be a nice to die. She could be a novice or, you know, an accepted, potentially. I dig it. I want to move on to the next piece of news, unless you have any more comments on that. I don't. All right. This is a fun one. Watt series. This is all Watt series. Here we go. We're in the Watt series section of the uh, of the episode. Watt series uh, discovered some new season three audition tapes. We love that. Those are some of our favorite things to get. Actual words from po possible actual scenes in the show with actual characters. Yeah. You like that? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This so one's they, really good too. It's not even they're not even trying to like hide words. No, no, I feel like <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Let's get into this. We got two of them. One of them we actually have the script for. The other one is more of a summary. So so the first one, I'll set it up and Tom and Jen are gonna knock this out of the park. Um, this is <laughs> this is Aiel and person two. Um, the Aiel is a female from what we can get from the context of the story, and we have no idea who person two is. But we think it might be one of the um, Rand, Matt, or Egwene. So I'll uh, I'll I'll hand it off to you two. Action. Okay. Keep up, Wetlander. We're nearing water. What happened? A fight with the Shido clan over the spring. Judging by the wounds, many have awoken from the dream in this place. We should bury them. They're not worth the time, or the stones. It's their own fault they're dead. And if those who killed are near, even more reason to get moving. I thought the Aiel were supposed to respect their dead. They are not Aiel, and I am respecting them. The Tuatha'an run from battle, refuse to defend themselves or those they love. They chose to die for their way of the leaf. And if we don't move now, we may end up rotting there beside them. My power is strong, but even I cannot take on the full force of the Shido. And see. Bravo, bravo. Thank you. Thank you. I have a lot of questions about this scene. Um, so so it sounds like 
that's a wise one, right? I mean, right? She said she can channel. Sounds like it. My power is strong, but even I cannot take on a full force of the shadow. So it sounds like an idle wise one to me. But it's like one wise one and one person like walking alone. Well, that's the weird thing. Like, yeah, because she says I cannot take the full force of the Shai Do. It, it leads me to believe that they're alone. Which is Maybe it's like uh, um, Amis and... No, Amis doesn't channel though, right? Or she does. does. She? Amis and Egwain or something. Because why be. else would like two people be alone? I don't know. Like maybe it's not a dream, but... I had a question too about this because some of the dialogue was confusing to me and I wanted to get your take on it, right? So uh, the wise one says a fight with the Shido clan over the spring, judging by the wounds. And then they're talking about the dead and then they said they're not Aiel, they're Tuatha yeah. An. Why, why would Tuatha An, fi Tuatha An wouldn't be fighting Shido. Maybe they got like mixed up in it or something? No, no, what I'm saying is like, like two they weren't fighting, fighting with the Shido because they don't fight. No, but right. they got killed They would killed just give up and be battle. murdered. Yes, or run. So why would they say a, a fight with the Shido? Wouldn't they say something like, oh, the Shido attack them? No, there were two clans of Aiel fighting, and then these Tuatha and got killed. They oh. Uh, that's, oh, that's interesting. That's not how I took it. I, I, I have to say, I took this as, like, we've talked about this with some of the audition scripts before that they may not actually be things that happen in the show. Like, I took this as 100%, like, this isn't a real scene right. from yeah. the They're show. They're just, like, saying words. They're just saying, yeah, like, I these guess. are things that an Aiel, because the, the audition is for the Aiel part, right? Yeah. These yeah. are things that an Aiel would express in the show at different times. Okay. Right? And that's 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 how I took this. Like I, I feel better. To, because I thought this was pretty bad writing. Because I, I was trying to follow things, and I, some They're of the things weren't making, making sense. But that that makes me feel good if that's what this is. But you know what? That Egwene Rand scene was, like, in the show. And, like, when we read the script, I felt like it was terrible and it didn't make any sense. And then when they I, delivered it, I was like, oh, okay, now I, I get it. Listen, I called it was a post-coitus scene, and it was a post-coitus scene. I did. <laughs> no, I know, but it just like the way she was like, not then, before. You know, like all the way, like the way it was written, I was like, this is so awkward and like weird. Why is she talking like that? But then when it was delivered, it like made more sense. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Put yeah. the post post-coitus yeah. in there. Um, yeah, but the Leandrin scene was not, right? Like, so that like it was a little sure. different yeah it was actually it was it was similar but very different yeah like the dialogue yes. was not similar, the same dialogue. but very different yes like the <laughs> uh the the scene happened but they just used different dialogue basically yeah. right right but i do think it's interesting like to jen's point like previous ones were like so coded that even like slang terms for people were changed yeah. and mm -hmm. this doesn't have that Maybe it's like whatever it's out there now. Um, the show came everyone out. knows the Shido. I just like yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm surprised that they put in there because the Tuatha on, I mean they put Tuatha on and the word Aiel in there. So I mean we know those are both things that are mentioned in the first season. So I would get maybe why they would actually. To be honest with you, I would probably keep that change too, just so people can't like search for them and find them. Yeah, I, I would do the opposite. Like I would be like people would read that and may know there are because they don't even want to tell you what you're auditioning for. Yeah. I'm like so excited to read this and I'm so excited to see like how we're going to get from like where we ended to like, I know how it gets there, but it's like, there's going to be so much information and like so much world building, like over the next two seasons to get us to like the Shido and like Wetlander, you know, like all this kind of stuff. I know it's going to be in the second season. It's just like exciting to see it in the show. Yeah. Or read it, read it in an audition script. I'm guessing too, um, Tom, you made a good point, like how they were, people weren't even, didn't even know what characters they're reading for. This was probably put out there as Aiel, so they don't even know which Aiel they're actually auditioning for. Like, it's probably right. one of the wise ones, maybe Amis or, like you said, or uh, who do we meet in the beginning? It's Amis, Bear, Melanie. Melanie, and what's the other one? And the other one who dies uh, oh. fairly quickly in the same S? book. I can't remember her name. Yeah, something with an S. I mean, it's Process. Odds are, it was something with an S. 
No, it was it was Cian. Cian. Yes. S C A I N E. No, that's no, that's an I. That's an I to die. Oh, isn't it? I don't know. Don't say I'm wrong in two chat. No, the I to die has an I on it. I think it's S E A I N E C A in the I to die. Are right? you sure? I don't know. Tom's it maybe Sienna. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway um yeah i think this keeps that that um a hidden i'm sorry that keeps that hidden if they don't know which i uh, which uh aisle they're they're auditioning for mm -hmm. um so yeah this does seem like they're traveling to the waste i'm guessing on their way to ruidian yeah I think so. I just don't know why these two people are like alone. The only thing I could think of is like that everyone's traveling to Iridian and maybe they're just like off to the side. They went off for, a, you know, maybe they're on the outskirts of where everybody's traveling to. Maybe, maybe it's Rand and they're teaching him some Aiel ways and like with the, the landscape and the culture or like the, you know, what the threefold land is about and they kind of wandered off from the from the group. Yeah, but Tom? Yeah, it's Senna. S E N N A. Oh, so Senna. Gross. That doesn't yeah. sound right. She's killed by a Drakkar. Yes. That's a med that's a medicine to help you go to the bathroom. And <laughs> Senna. <laughs> it's like, yes. It's like a constipation medication. So okay. Tom Tom, your pick is Eggwayne. <laughs> just telling you. Your pick is, is Eggwayne and Amise. That's your guess. That's my guess. I don't know. That's we're, what we're, I said. Oh, it's Jen. I'm sorry. That's Jen. Uh, I shot the clerk. That's what you sound like. I shot the clerk. <laughs> um, I am going to say it is. I think it. I think it. That makes it. That's a good guess. I. I like. That's a good guess. It's probably right. Um, I could see it being Maureen too. As as the wetlander, I uh, no, I don't think it's Moraine. I think it's I like Amise because she's such a prominent one of the wise uh, of what such right. a prominent wise one and has a fairly large role in the books, especially at this time. So I I think they would be keeping her. Um, I think this might be Rand, Amise, and possibly Rand. I feel like the only female Aiel that Rand is going to talk to on a regular basis is Avienda because that's what they want. Mm, that's good. That's true. Yeah, but if she, she's already cast, so this wouldn't be a... Right, that's my point. Avienda. So it wouldn't be Rand. Ooh, it's Matt. Right? You know Matt why? Is a, that's Matt because, with a second guess. So I'm going to tell you why he has. I'm going to tell you why right now. Because of this line here, it says we should bury them. Remember, there's the scene with Tom and Matt, and they yeah. bury the Aiel. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Or actually, does this actually just would that disqualify Matt? Because Matt knows what Aiel look like. Well, they all know what Aiel look like at this point. So yeah, why would they not? Why would they not know Again, that, that that's not Aiel? The Tuathan is. They know what Tuathan look like, and they know what Aiel look like. No, no. Yeah, I, I think, think that I can see they're... Matt going. Oh, the Aiel respect the dead, and the and the Aiel oh. the Aiel respect the Aiel dead. Not you know. Ah, uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. So yeah. So Matt, I change it to Matt. Matt and who? Amis. Or maybe it's um. Well, is a maiden. It's not no, that's a maiden. I was gonna say whoever the girl was that Matt ends up uh Melindra. Yeah. Oh I thought that too, but yeah, but she's she doesn't not a, channel. Unless they just threw that in there to like whatever, just as words like Tom said. Yeah. Um, let's move on to the second one. And I'm just gonna read this because they didn't have an actual script. Um, it's just more of a summary of the scene. Um, so I'm gonna just quote directly from the article. This scene takes place between a two rivers farmer and Perrin who are talking late at night. The farmer says he needs to return to his farm because, sorry, because Lord Luke has instructed them to do so. They have an argument over whether this is reasonable, as Perrin believes Lord Luke isn't to be trusted since he's an outsider and could just abandon them at any time. The farmer retorts 
that while things are different now, at least they have protection. He's frustrated at being ordered around by Perrin, who he's known since birth. He reminds Perrin that they've that they're farmers, not fighters, which he'd remember if he hadn't been gone for so long. Mm. Burned. So I think the most interesting part of this summary is the mention of Lord Luke. Wow. Yeah. Right? So this appears to be, right, Perrin going back to the Two Rivers, book four, clearly. Um, right, well, all right. Does the fact that we're getting Lord Luke mean we're getting Slayer? Yes. Don't ask that first. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We had talked about Slayer possibly not making it into the show, although I I disagreed with that vehemently. Um, just because he's the mo- one of the most interesting storylines of parents. Um, True. Are you excited that we're getting Slayer, or were you kind of hoping that they did cut Slayer? I think Slayer could be cool. I like the whole story of him and how he comes to be interesting. Yeah, I mean, he does disappear for a chunk of the books and then comes back with a for, with you know with a vengeance. So maybe this gives them an opportunity to kind of be a little bit more consistent with him. Yeah, I think the condensing of 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 the storyline helps for those people who disappear for large chunks because they don't have to. And I think that <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Tom. I was laughing at Wolf Brother in, in chat said I think the show should combine Slayer and Lord Luke. <laughs> and then and then Dana Liu didn't didn't catch his sarcasm, I don't think, and said, but Slayer is Lord Luke though. <laughs> <laughs> By male models. So Very the funny, the funny. um Yeah, I, I think you know in light of the revelations, the final secret uh from from a memory of light that was revealed a little while ago, um I think that uh, you want Slayer there because that's like the only competent thing that Perrin does in the last book. <laughs> so you want to have a win for you. You want to have a win for one of your heroes. So the fact that we're getting Lord Luke, um, I want to ask another question, Jen. Maybe you can you can give me your thoughts on this one. Right yeah. in the books, Lord Luke and Slayer look are, are two different people. They look totally different. Right, because mm-hmm. one of them is is Rand's uncle, right? Lord Luke is Rand's uncle, and Slayer is, um, is is uh, Land's, Land's cousin. cousin. So they look totally different. Are we going to get two actors playing these two characters? But isn't Slayer both of them put together? Yes. Yeah. They so when he co- he could change the way he looks, so he looks yeah. like Luke when he's Luke, but he looks like. Sl- Isam when he's Slayer. No, he looks like either one of them all the time. Oh, well, you just like said looks, Slayer It's not like, like he changes Land's from Lord cousin. Luke to Slayer. He changes from Lord Luke to Isam, but he's Slayer all the time. Oh, I see what you're saying. But when he appears yeah. as Slayer to Perrin, he, he changes because he doesn't want him yeah. to recognize him. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I, th- I mean, I guess you would have to. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. And especially if, like, he's going to be Lan's cousin, and that's going to be a remarkably different looking person than Rand's uncle. uncle. I like the idea of two um, two actors because then it really confuses the audience. At least, right? If you just see him, hey, there's Luke shooting at me. Like, <laughs> it's just like obvious. Yeah, right no away. one's going to be to like, everyone. Yes, yes, Aaron and like, us. Oh, that's like, the same guy he saw in, in yeah, the Wolf Street. That's the guy. Why doesn't he recognize? He's him? bad. Why is Why isn't he always bad? <laughs> <laughs> He's bad. Um, <laughs> so that'll be interesting to get two different actors cast uh, for this role. Um, so I mean, this means we're getting like we're going to be getting a good amount of Wolf Dream stuff, I suppose, right in season three. If yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, yeah, so I think that Teleron Riyadh uh, um, is going to be all over season three. Yeah, are we going to get like some of those 
things that Perrin learns to do in Teller and Riyadh, like the like the jumping, like the ridiculous. Like I, I think of the Matrix, right? When they do those giant jumps, that's that's how I always pictured the uh, yeah. when he turns into a wolf and does those giant leaps. Mm -hmm. Like, are we gonna get that in the show? We're gonna we're just gonna see him like jump, and he's gonna go like you know a quarter of a mile. Maybe oh. I don't know. I mean, we're gonna get him like teleporting, right? They're gonna be teleporting, I imagine. That's easy. They just wink out and then appear somewhere else. That's that's uh, that's one of the oldest film tricks in the book. Um, what else? I think se season two is gonna ease us into all this dreaming between Egwene and Heron, and then maybe season three will really like get into it and explore it more deeply. I don't know if we're gonna get we really too much haven't... of Egwene in season two dreaming. We'll get a little bit, I think, but I don't, I don't think, think we're gonna get gonna that get much. Gonna get the Tyrion in season two. Well, she has to. There you go. Varen's at the tower, so right. She has to get it. Otherwise, when's she gonna get it? There's a lot that has to happen in season two because season, we don't have book three like to come back and have other things happen. So, like, so maybe has to happen. Maybe Varen's also. Um, maybe Varen will be part of the circle that heals Matt. If there's going to be a second healing of Matt, I don't know if that's true um, or not. I think it should be, but. Um, and then she plays her Dragon Reborn role. She's there when maybe she teaches a lesson or something, and then she's there when Egwene takes her or whoever. Maybe it's, she's there when Nynaeve takes her except a test. I don't know. I hope she does some fun things. Um, but anyway, very excited that Lord Luke is going to be in season three. I can't wait to see him in Slayer. The two uh, the two actors it's going to be interesting because they're going to get two actors who look totally different nobody's going to know what's going on until there's like some sort of what's the reveal that they're the same person how do you envision it i don't remember what it is in the book so i, can't. I don't think there is a uh, clear <laughs> does the person say they smell the same yeah and there's also right he shoots slayer in the dream and then lord luke also gets injured in the same spot when he comes back uh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i think that's how you do it and then like you could have some sort of like they're wearing the same cloak, like, like like Slayer always has a cloak on, and then like the cloak's removed and he's wearing Luke's clothes. That's or whatever. This in book four, though, you find that out. Yeah, it's all well, you find four. out Slayer is Luke. We don't know that he's also Lance. You know, I, yeah, I think it's book yeah. five where you get the 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 backstory. Oh yeah, who they who they actually are in real life. Well, not in real life, yeah. but the the yeah. Like book who they, real life. yeah, who they are. the <laughs> prophecy of in real in real book life. <laughs> um, so this was awesome getting these two right. I wasn't expecting to yeah. get any audition scripts. I love yeah. these. I hope we find some more. Keep doing it, Watt series. I love it when you find this stuff. It's so much fun to talk about. Um, I want to talk about one last piece of news that came today from Watt series. Thank you once again, Watt series, for giving us. These All these wonderful things to talk about. So they identified uh, three directors who are going to be working on season three. Um, now, we had already known that Kieran Donnelly was returning for season three. I think he announced it or posted something on Twitter a little while ago. Um, they did confirm that he is going to be uh, directing block one. So that would be episodes one and two. That's, that's for certain. Um, directing... I'm sorry. Um... Directing Block 2 in Season 3, sorry, I was getting confused by my notes, is Thomas Knapper, who's doing Block 1 in Season 2. Hmm. And then... But I guess it's good. Yeah, I guess so. I guess he, he moved up. <laughs> he gets to do later episodes. I don't know how that works. And then we have a newcomer, Marta Cunningham. She's going to be directing... A new what? A newcomer. That's not what he said. What did I say? A newcomer. A newcomer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when we notice our accents, that's when it's bad. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry. You tell them not from the Bronx. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. Marta Cunningham will also be directing episodes in season three. We don't know which block she's directing, but it appears Kieran Donnelly is, like, I guess, the lead director for season three. So he's going to be doing four episodes, kind of like Sana Hamri did for season two. So, so between the two of them, somebody's doing block three and somebody's doing block four. It wouldn't surprise me if Kieran Donnelly's doing block four again because he did that mm -hmm. um, 
he did it in the first season, just, you know, open and close, I guess, so to speak. And then they also had noted a uh, director of photography, Christopher Knorr, who's going to be working uh, in block one. So just a quick um, summary, Marta Cunningham. She is, um, she's worked in television already before. This isn't, she's not new to it. She's worked on shows, uh, The Good Fight, Transparent, Star Trek Discovery, Fear of the Walking Dead, Dear White People, and Grace and Frankie, which is interesting because that's like a wide variety of type yeah. television, right? You've got like comedies to like uh, sci-fi to, you know, zombies to, com you know, dra dramas. She's yeah. got it all, it looks like, so. I don't think I've seen any of these shows, though. Have you? Um, no, I've heard of some of them. But I've never I've seen heard, any of them. Yeah, so. that's good. <laughs> yeah, I well, sometimes you list, all. like, they've been in this, this, and this. And I'm like, nope, never heard of any of those things. Yeah, but I've heard these, of all of these. Some of these I, I recognize. <laughs> that's good. Um, and then Christopher Knorr, who that director of photography is, um, He's worked on, oh, he's worked on Succession, The Changeling, Hello Tomorrow, The Right Stuff, and Gotham. And he actually uh, received an uh, award nomination from the American Society of Cinematographers for his work on Gotham. Three years oh. in a row. That's good. Wow. Yeah. It's quality stuff there. Um, any thoughts on the new directors? Um. No. No, not anything in particular. I mean, uh, I'm excited to see what uh, Kieran Donnelly can do um, without COVID protocol, I guess. And a, and a, a, a replacement, or not a replacement actor, but right? a lost actor. <laughs> a lost actor, yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, I think, I, I, I mean, he directed the best action scene, right? Uh, and if he's going to do the... If he's going to do the back end of the series, mm -hmm. there should be some awesome action scenes. Uh, yeah, in, in at the end of season three, and if he's going to do the first two episodes in season three, he's going to do the elfin and the elfin. Probably, mm -hmm. I hope. Yeah, that would happen. It's got to happen in the first episode, or the second, right? It would know? have to happen in the first episode. Yeah. Do we yeah. get? Do we get the bub the first bubble of evil? Oh, um, I hope so. I hope so, so. It's so different. Like that would be the very first scene of the first of the third season. But I think. who was he like hanging out with when it happens? How do you do that bubble of evil like without it being comical though? Which one? The right. cards. The oh, cards man. are tough. But oh, you're Rand talking about the mirrors. No, that one should happen. Yes. Well, that's just that's been I done. Already. They were all, I mean, that's that's um, like uh, Evil Dead right there. Right. Evil Dead does that. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, like House the, Two do something like that the, too. But the uh, the cards I was thinking of, I forgot they I love all the had cards. They, it is them. weird, but I love them. And Here's an interesting. Has like the axe trying to attack them, right? Well, yeah, and it's trying to attack him and Fael, so that's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, right, Fael right. won't be there for that. Um, yeah, that would be the first scene in in season three if if they were going to put it in there. That'd be the introduction yeah. to Barra Lane too, as well, if yeah. she's in the show. Why is Barra Lane in in Falm, the cosmopolitan? <laughs> this makes any Falm? sense. She's, not, she's taking a vacation. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how you get Barra Lane on the show. I think I'm from my. I'm taking a vacation from my end to Falm. <laughs> I'm taking a vacation from the best place to be in the in in the, the Westlands, other side of the country, and the worst place to, to a, place to a that's shit like, show that's always in combat, that's under siege from an invading army. Yeah, currently, maybe she's taken prisoner by the Shan Chen. I don't know. Maybe she's maybe not they in the swept show. Around? No, I don't know. How would they get to my end? It doesn't. Yeah, maybe she's not in the show. No. Yeah, maybe there's no. Don't Berlin. say that. Luke is in the show. Yeah, but Luke be related. In the show. You, you can, She's too good. It's like too much. It's too much good sex appeal. They need that for the show. That's true. It's true. They need like bosoms. <laughs> Honor Robert Jordan. Think anyone has bosoms? Good bosoms? 
<laughs> There's be plenty of bosoms we in the show, Jen. Two, two shows in a row. We, <laughs> I know. Did that quote. Let's see how long we can go. There's been a lot of bosoms, so there's gonna be a lot of bosoms. There's gonna be a lot of bosoms. We've already got. Probably gonna have like lay on got, these We bosoms. got bosoms in the first show with Priyanka. We'll get some more bosoms. Yeah, she, we're gonna keep seeing her bosoms probably. We'll get more bosoms once Ooh. Matt starts Ooh. going around and carousing. We're gonna see lots of bosom. Yeah, you're right. All right. Be sure chin up. I still want Beryl. I like Beryl. I like Beryl's character too, but yeah. you can cut her and not lose right. really much. Oh man, no. I don't know how they do like the parent right because part of parent and vital storyline is the Baron that wedge of Beryl in, in between them, right? Yeah. So I don't know. That cuts out that whole story. I I forgot that like the part in what the hell book am I reading now? Uh, Crown of Swords, when like Perrin was at Dumai's Wells, Beryllium was just like telling, like spreading a rumor that her and Perrin were like having sex out. Yes. <laughs> and everyone like believed it. And, and Fael had to like deal with that. That's really funny. Not for Fael, but. Yeah, it's funny. She's a, she's a. That's a good joke. Yeah, good joke. <laughs> Made me laugh. Great joke. No, wasn't. Big, big hat. It's funny. What? It wasn't. I thought that happened later when um when they're traveling. Oh, he, no. She does it again. Because Colavier or Col whatever oh, is like yes, making yes. them do stuff together because she thinks it's funny that like Beryllin is sleeping with Fael's husband. And Fael like, like is helping Colavier apparent, like apparently yeah, helping her, like, but not really. Yeah, right. She's oh, kissing yeah. up to her because yeah. things are getting tenuous there. Um yeah, this is a this is a lot of information we've gotten today. There's a lot of things swimming around in my head. Um, I hope again. I said this last week. I hope Varen doesn't spend all of season two in the tower. Please, God, no. Get her out and do he some will. stuff. She needs to meet like the other. She needs to re meet Rand and Perrin. She needs to. There needs to be something of her figuring out that Rand's the Dragon Reborn. That's not going to happen if she's sitting in the tower the whole season. True. That's mm -hmm. why I actually do like that she's escort like somehow she's uh she's coming back to the tower with the girls. Like just, just like that she can get information out of them or whatever. Just to give her a leg up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe she goes after maybe when the girls get kidnapped, you know, tricked and kidnapped, she goes after them. I and, can and see her somehow uh, whatever it's it's weird just because it matched storyline is a complete vacuum yes. i can see her somehow leaving the tower when he leaves she follows him out of there because she knows he's taviran and she's just interested in she wants to study him so to speak right like she absent-mindedly leaves the door unlocked for him or something like that so let's say we get Varen and matt go off on a journey they do a team up Hop on a boat, meet Bail Doman. Now we've got Varen, Matt, and Bail. This is an interesting party, I think. True. Where's that picture of the Dark Friend social? Is it's it anywhere? Not, where? It's not a pic. It's in the video. It's in the teaser. It's, no one has like a screen capture of it, though. There's plenty uh, of screen, yeah, there's screen captures. I was trying to Google it, but it's not coming up. You're better off just watching the video. Um, I, that this is why I like Varen going to Faldara, Swan going to Faldara. You can have the whole, and Maureen goes back there too, and she's there, right? She's not supposed to go back to the tower, but she's not violating that oath because she's not at the tower, and and that's where that's where we get all of that. And then they can go back, and then Varen can go back to the White Tower with the girls. That's fine, and then somehow she winds up back out. I don't know. I, I like it. I I think that there's a more likelihood if Swan leaves the tower in this season, she's leaving the tower to get um to go to Andor. Then you wouldn't see her at Andor necessarily, but she's going to get the daughter heir. Like I, I just don't so I don't want them to be in Faldara. Like I feel like I, I talked about this a little bit last week, but I feel like you don't want to waste time 
on any season one stuff. There's so much stuff in season two that has to happen. It should just be happening. And then you find out why. Like, it's much quicker to just say, yeah, we all came here together, than show it for five minutes. Well, they could they could handle some other things when they go to Faldara, right? So you introduce Varin, you get the Varin figures out that Rand's the dragon. Um, maybe you learn about what exactly happened to Moraine, or somebody says, oh, you've been shielded and it's been tied off, something that hasn't been done since the Age of Legends, I don't know, whatever. Um, and then they send her on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> they send her on a journey. <laughs> um and then they sh- and then they bring the girls back to the white tower we don't have to spend a ton of time there we could spend like 10 minutes in valdara we find out we tie up what the hell happened like you all right you know what i'll tell you what if 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 which i don't understand like i don't it doesn't work for me but if you could throw in moraine's there and someone explains to her that she's been shielded and she has to figure out a way to untie it or whatever. Um, I'm okay with that. But I assume that was going to be most of what Maureen was doing this season, was finding out that she's not still. Like, if she finds out that she's shielded, why would she be... Like, I feel like she, where's she going to go? I think she knows she's shielded. She just doesn't know how to get unshielded, though. That's the problem. Like, it's it's nothing like they've she's experienced before because they don't do shields like that now nowadays. They don't make them shields like they used to. Right. I want to say something. Go ahead. So what if Varen is coming back from the Dark Friend Social? Her this person in this picture has white sleeves and gloves on covering the Aes Sedai ring. Yeah. That is that's Varen. Mm-hmm. That's my call right now. I think people that's think that could be a white for. cloak. I don't know. But there's somebody. There's a man with white sleeves, like lower down. Yeah, there's a there's, there's a girl there's a ton with white of white sleeves. Everybody, almost everybody in this picture has no, white sleeves. But she's got <laughs> gloves on to indicate that she's covering her hands for the reason of being an Aes Sedai and wearing a ring. You think that's gloves can I'm... cover that giant fucking ring that they wear? <laughs> on TV, they can. <laughs> I can't add. It. There's there'd be just like a side. giant bulge coming out. Of the Maybe glove. she turned it around. Like this, so it's underneath, and she puts the gloves on to cover the ring. Why wouldn't she just put it in her pocket? Because you can't just like put it in your pocket. Why not? Rand, uh, land puts girls' clothes don't have in. girls' pants don't have pockets, Joe. That's why she gave it to Land. <laughs> yeah, that's why she gave it to Land. My wife, Baron, she, Baron's got lots of pockets. That's that, that's Baron. I'm calling it okay? okay. And when she's coming back, she got the white sleeves on and she pulls her hood. She's coming home back to the tower. From the dark friend social, and she's looking at the tower to like remind herself why she's doing this. And that's the emotion she's feeling. Like I'm doing this for the good of the tower. What if, what if she's at the white dark friend social, and she comes back with Ingtar to Faldara, to, to Faldara, and th- that's how the girls get back. I don't like it. I don't like it. Listen, I want them to be in the tower. We're right? gonna we're gonna have to start do doing too. our we're gonna start doing our episode <laughs> breakdown soon. We have wait, to start you're not gonna wait soon. till the trailer comes out? No, no, we gotta do it before the trailer. I wanna do it oh, we'll have no. absolutely <laughs> no idea how Matt gets from point A to point B or what he does. Or point That's C or point D, like the yeah. whole no. We're gonna do them soon. Um I mean, unless the trailer like a teaser comes out within like a month or so. Um, we're going to be doing those soon. And I think we'll do them a little differently than we did previously because I know it was hard for people to follow what was going on because we kept jumping around to each of us. So maybe we'll do like, we'll each, we'll do an episode for each of us where we, we each do a breakdown oh, in no. separate episodes. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, we're going to do those guy soon. Just burst through the movie posters. <laughs> Kool Aid Man. Um, okay. All right, you want to? You ready to wrap it up here? Sure. All right. I want to remind everyone to follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Join us over in Discord to continue the conversation there. We also post our episodes on YouTube if you would like to watch them. Um, so when you go there, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts. We always love to hear your feedback, please. I know we read some reviews last week. Did we Have we gotten any new ones, Jen? Oh, God. You can't spring this on me. Give me a minute. We'll I'm going to do it out. every week. We'll edit this out. Give okay. me a minute. Go ahead. I have to figure out how to work my new phone. 
Just go to Apple Podcasts, wherever it is. I'm go phone. I'm in Apple Podcasts and I have to find our show. It should be right at the top. It's right here. It's not at the top. Uh no, I think the last one we read was March 31st. That was the last one. Okay. So I'll start that section over again then. Okay. Rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts. We love to hear your feedback. We'll read it on the air, please. Um, so give us a review. And check out our merchandise and Patreon pages to support us that way. Links to all the aforementioned information. Oh, I did it again. No, I didn't do it. Let's start. Links to all the aforementioned information are included in the show notes to this episode. You guys know it's like 55 days to WatCon. Did you know that? Yeah. Yes. So I'm get excited. your WatCon tickets, people. Go to WatCon.com and come to WatCon. Um, I'm going to be on uh, yes. the, the what is it, the Dark Friend Social, Nablus's Dark Friend Social yeah. on Monday. We're going to be talking about WatCon. I'm going to be talking about some of the activities we have planned. Um, so come check that out as well. Uh, there, I think there's going to be a bunch of people on it. I'm not really sure, but it'll be fun. So come check that out. Any last words, Tom and Jen? Yeah, I have something uh i want to give a shout out to our colleague at work naya ferdinand who heard <laughs> that we talk about end news on this show um because she has hens and chicks and so Lots when she them. heard that this is something that yeah, we man. have a appointed interest in she sent us a bunch of photos of her hens her her chicks that you know she's new chicks that just came um and so uh head news is spreading and I, I I just wanted to let everybody know. You should put them on our Instagram. I will. Okay. I I wanted to get the okay with her that I could share them publicly first because she just sent them to Joe and I. <laughs> it's like your kids. You have to make sure before you put your chickens on the internet. <laughs> yes, you just have to get it. Just <laughs> it's like they're at her over. a place of residence. I think it's more like that oh, part of it than I'm, you can't see anything. chickens in front of her address. You, it could be anywhere in those pictures. <laughs> it's, it's just True. chickens and dirt and fences and stuff. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so look out for those pictures. Thanks, everyone, for listening. And you'll hear us next time. <laughs>